November is Diabetes Awareness Month, so here's something most people don't know. There are actually 11 recognized kinds of diabetes. Type 2 diabetes and prediabetes are actually the same disease, just at different stages. Type 2 diabetes is a chronic metabolic condition where the body doesn't know what to do with the insulin that it produces or it doesn't produce enough insulin. Treatment for type 2 diabetics can look different from person to person. Some can manage with diet and exercise. Some may need oral medications or GLP-1s to help manage their glucose levels. And some type 2 diabetics even rely on insulin and insulin pumps, like me. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease that kills off the pancreas's insulin-producing cells called beta cells, leaving the person entirely dependent on synthetic insulin. Gestational diabetes is when somebody who was not diabetic before develops diabetes in pregnancy. The cause is unknown but is theorized to be linked to hormonal changes. Treatment is typically diet and exercise, but in some cases patients may require insulin. Those are just the most common types of diabetes, but there are a few far more rare kinds. Type 3C diabetes is when the pancreas itself is diseased, damaged, or missing. The pancreas produces far more than just insulin, so this comes with a whole host of problems. Ladder, also known as type 1 and a half, can show both features of type 1 and type 2 diabetes. It's an autoimmune disease at a slow progression rate of type 1 diabetes where the insulin producing cells are attacked by the immune system. Treatment can include oral medications before eventually needing regular insulin injections. Modi is often misdiagnosed as type 1. The difference between the two is Modi is a genetic mutation that typically does not have any of the type 1 antibodies. Not all Modi patients are insulin dependent. Some can manage on oral medications. It tends to differ by the gene that's affected, whether or not they'll be insulin dependent. Neonatal monogenic diabetes is a subtype of Modi. This type is almost always insulin dependent and occurs within the first six months of the child's life. This type is incredibly rare with about one in 90,000 odds. If your child developed diabetes within the first six months of life, it's almost always neonatal monogenic diabetes. Newly recognized by the International Diabetes Federation is type 5 diabetes or MRDM. Type 5 is caused by long-term severe undernutrition in childhood, preventing the development of the pancreas. The current treatment is simply insulin and is typically seen in previously colonized nations. CFRD is a type of diabetes that is unique to cystic fibrosis. Excessive mucus production, among other factors, damage the pancreas. Most people with cystic fibrosis-related diabetes will need to be treated with insulin due to pancreatic damage. For some patients,